I'd like to thank all y'all for uh, viewing this show. This sh segment is called Baby, If You Only Knew. Now, my name's T Man. I'm y'all cousin Patrick's nephew. I don't worry. So I'll be nephew T Man. And this motherfucker is just with the real big butts. And all of that, you did. This is my first time being on screen, and I noticed I got a shine on my goddamn forehead. <laughs> if it's on y'all screen, let me know. Next time you tell, tell me, put, put me up on game. <laughs> and, and plus, don't uh, we don't need uh, just because he got dressed. Don't mean he's Haitian. Don't mean he's from Miami, motherfucker. And I don't surf. And, no, and he's not. I a, got some questions. And he got he's not a cowabunga type nigga. You feel me? See, you won't jump your ass into the segment. Yeah, I need to. Because I'm your aunt. And I got some questions. And some of the questions I want to ask y'all being the gangster niggas that y'all are. I kind of wanted to see. No, we got some questions we want to ask you. We got some questions. Well, we no, nah, hell no. Nah. Nah. We're we going to ask your questions first. Me as a man, I want to ask a question. How in the hell did women love what they, you know, why do they love what they you know? Okay. For this reason only, I'm going to let y'all know this. I hate to get out like this stuff now. Okay. First of all, when you do it with a woman, and I did a segment about this, especially with no condoms, we think it's love. That 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 free, that free on free, that skin on skin confuses us. We think it's love. We have a chemical imbalance inside of us to where we get that confused with love. I talked to y'all young ladies about this. Did that answer your question? No. I don't kill to these dirty helpers. Dirt wrong. Nigga, I'm not Yogi the Bird. Okay. I'm not going to Boo Boo the Fool. It's what y'all whispering in them girls' spirits while y'all doing them so business. So what are you saying, bitch? Them lads. I hate you, but this is good. <laughs> I guess she said at the end of the motherfucking party. Because women is loving with the wrong part of their body as well. But as that's what I'm asking. Okay. Why do y'all love with y'all vaginas instead of your hearts? Because a lot of these babies nowadays are born asshole backwards. That's why. Does that answer your question? No. no. Yes, it does. If, you have, if, 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 yes, if, if you're a lady out there and you're offended by me because I say bitch your hoes. No. But that's no, hold on, hold on. But if you're a lady out there and you're offended by what I say bitch your hoes, I don't mean no disrespect. I'm a southern and I'm a man with hospitality. So when I approach a woman or a lady, or bitch, or a slut, I coach them like they are. Because like LeWayne said... If they got an answer to it, then I feel like it ain't nothing wrong. Hold on, hold on. But like LeWayne said, and I hate to quote a rap nigga, because I'm far from a rap nigga. I'm a trap nigga. I hate to quote them kind of niggas. But he was correct on that kind of shit. He said, give a lady a kiss, a bitch a smack, a hoe a nut. I hate an elbow to a gun. It's the fucking truth. Okay. Because you can't you, you can't approach a lady like a bitch. You can't approach a hoe like a woman. You can't approach a slut like a, a bitch. You feel Because it's it ain't no motherfucking work. It is. And maybe it's my inner That's right. Maybe it's my inner Maybe it's my inner It's hard to tell how uh, to deal with these women on every on the street. I'm just asking but, how, why do a lady a love with their vagina? And not with their heart. Okay, well, I gave them my answer, so if y'all want to send him another answer with it, that's good. Now, what's your question? Do you have a question for me, Aunt Patches? Do you have a question? Because I have a question for you. Nah, I'm going to listen to your question. This question is, do you got a light? This question do you got a light? I don't smoke. Would you give him my lighter? No. And, uh, <laughs> what you doing? Okay, <laughs> Alright, this is better, bitch. I got a question. We used to speak motherfucking on. stolen life. We'll come back after a couple of months of weeks. Put the silver sleeve on that. Right. Does he don't see him every day? I just talked about that a few early before I came over this bitch. Well, I don't like this nigga don't even really smoke for real. He be playing. Hey, wait, be a black he, be playing. he be playing. Alright, so okay, I'm, I'm willing to ask any little questions that you I have to. I am too. Okay. I'm open, man. Oh, my shit. This is the reason why I got this is they theme music. Bitch, you know that? I used to play yeah. that with the kids. That's why they be in there. Yeah. Oh, you bitch. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Don't be ashamed. It's only a dick. That's what it is. Give up the pussy to me. Oh, I'll be good to you. I was on the second break. We all ride home in my automobile. All I want is the pussy. Oh, y'all kids. That's that shit. That's that cartoon shake right there. Now you see why this is boy's fave music. That's right. We're back to what I want to deal with. He's uh, what do y'all do about baby mamas that um, get other men that they like and they start allowing they start allowing the other the other man to be called daddy? How do y'all deal with that when y'all come over and pick up your babies and they already have another man living there? And your new your baby is now called the new guy daddy because you do got a lot of mothers out there that do that and I don't really care for that. But you know, to each lady his own. What do you do as a man, a young man that goes to that door to pick up his child and daughter and the new guy that's there and your little baby is called a new guy daddy? What do you see what, what I'm, I'm advice gonna, you give this young man? I'm gonna answer this first. If y'all didn't know, I told y'all, yeah, I'm a gangster, but I, I still I live two lives. I live the married life and I live a street life. And they never mix. So my wife didn't know what I did. The same time when I got a divorce and she found out everything, my skeletons in the closet, it happened to where she came to have a boyfriend. But you as a nigga or him as a man, you don't have to worry about that. You as a father, don't have to worry about that. You as a daddy, you ain't gotta worry about that, you dig? Cause a real nigga instills in his son, his daughter. That I'm your daddy, I'm always going to be your daddy, I'm, I'm your father, I'm always going to be your father, and ain't no replacement for me. So in my situation, when they got a, when she got a boyfriend, my ex-wife got a boyfriend, I didn't have to worry about that because I am a father and I am a man, but every nigga ain't a father and ain't, ain't a man. And there's some niggas who take up the slack for a nigga who ain't a father or who ain't a man. And if that son or that daughter want to call that nigga daddy, I take my motherfucking hat off to you. And I hope they do call that man who step up to the plate to a son or a daughter who ain't his and call that man daddy and tell his daddy to suck his dick or lick her clip. Lord, okay. The only thing How do you feel say. about that? How to deal with the young man? Whew, he took it even. He, he, he took it her. But how you deal with the young man who's going to go pick up their children and the... They ring the doorbell and look it up, up and hear the child call the next man daddy. How, you know. I don't know how that I would deal with it. First of all, I'm the other person that the son is looking at it as a father. Uh-huh. And I would never in my life give another nigga a chance though to take care of my kids. I had to be long gone in penitentiary. Okay. To even give them that Do y'all right. talk to y'all baby mamas ahead of time and tell me you don't really, you know, want it ain't that, it ain't that like because a lot of women are in that situation. Like, like, like niggas, you know, niggas, and niggas, 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 we are, we do be in that situation, but we stay strong as men. We don't let them know we worried about our son and our daughter calling them, they boyfriend, okay. daddy, and father. So what we do is real men is we step up beyond the plate. That's we take y'all bullshit. We take y'all bitching and arguing. We take y'all fussing and fighting. Excuse me, because I burnt like a motherfucker. Yes. We take all of that. So we don't have to worry about no other nigga calling. And the, when we do accept the woman, like... Every nigga, you're not going to meet a woman without a kid all the time. Some of them going to have a kid. Yeah, and some, yeah, some, yeah. Sometimes you're going to have to play the part. And you have to be the part of a man. It's only life's choice. That's the cards you was dealt with. If that's the woman you love, you're going to have to deal with it. If you don't deal with it, leave the lady alone. Or leave the woman alone. If you can't be a stepdaddy, leave that person alone. Because it's only going to hurt your relationship in the long run. Before you guys have done this. It's not doing your job. Y'all gave them a chance, though, to call the other guy daddy. daddy. Because if you spend enough time, though, you'll know who daddy is. Right. That's right. Yes. And anything else, I'll though. I'll make sure prison's in there because he's penitentiary. Penitentiary. Yeah, he ain't yeah, prison. Yeah. Well, no, you know, she got so hard on hard words. I'm just saying. Bob when, 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 when niggas say real talk, 
That's real talk. That's real talk. And I just Cause know you don't know how many single mothers that is. It's going but better yet, it. though, in the time we in now, 2010, it's more fathers taking care of their kids than it is mothers. That's really. And I give it up to you, young ass bitches. <laughs> And your mama's <laughs> getting grannies and sturdy. <laughs> you jumped out too early. <laughs> yeah, hey, you jumped out the porch too early. You can go get you one of these. This is a rosary, Your man. mama's still going to the club with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, he got his clothes. What do y'all do? I got one more question. What do y'all do when y'all call the phone and the new man of life answers the telephone? What's up, my nigga? Like he What's Hello? up, my nigga? Put my kids on the phone. And, and, and if, if niggas be like your daddy's on the phone with the with the with the raspy voice or or, or the motherfucking serious tone like his feelings is hurt, I, I tell my son, my daughter, put that pussy back on the phone. Ah, no, he so so so, so he'll get back on the phone. What's up, nigga? Yeah. Look at her pussy. Okay. When you call your baby mama's ass and have one of her do or whatever, I'm, I'm trying to tell you. Are you real lighter? No, I ask, no, back, I, like I ask back with the same respect and the same. You can you can tell you can you can tell the man. We got some wise gangsters. Hold on, hold on, because it's because why we gangsters? No, we ain't yeah. even gangsters. Fuck gangsters. We gonna hey, break man. this shit down. We ain't, we, we now nah, we gangsters. They gangster man. Because there's a difference. Yeah. Hold on, we we are gangsters, but better yet, we are OGs. And y'all say how you say it? Cause you look pretty much. You you look He's pretty young, young yourself. Man. You look pretty young yourself. Now OG don't got shit to do with age. It got to do with time. That's it right. got to do I with what you've been through. Game, it got right to do. Damn, I'm a legend. It got to do what you've been through. It got to do. <laughs> Would you shut up? It, OG. <laughs> OG. OG. <laughs> got a lot to do with time. Got a lot to do with suffering. You got a lot to do with a whole lot. I would. I can't fucking talk with you. Keep talking. Go ahead. I'm finished. Now, OG got a lot to do with a lot of things other than the age. Maturity level, respect, honor, loyalty, and love. That's OG. And when you accomplish them five things, you can get a lot of places. Now, I'm an OG because I conquered all of them. I was loyal. I didn't rag. I was honor. I didn't snake. I was love. So I did all the rest of them above. My baby, I have put installed them things into him. We have like a minute left, and we want to send our shout outs. We want to say goodbye, but we will be getting back with y'all. Thank you for our special guest. <laughs> keeping it real. That's what that's what we do here. Uh, uh, the uh, baby, if you only knew, show. <laughs> so we'll be sending you straight out. Much love. Huh, suck it easy. <laughs> Shout out to everyone out there. Love God, cuz. That's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs>